So what we're going to go over in this video is uh, this thing called masking and what masking is. Masking is really powerful. Think about it as almost like temporary erasing where you can always bring back kind of what you um, erase. So let's take a look at that. So we have this photo here. Um, underneath this photo, we actually have this orange layer that's sitting there. So we're going to go ahead and put a mask on this layer to reveal the orange. So think about a mask like a literal um, mask. Um, it's hiding parts and, and revealing parts. That's the whole idea of a mask. Think about if you go into a room that's dark, you turn on your flashlight, white or, or light is revealed, and then you can start to see things. That's the way a mask works. So let's take a look at that. So down here in the layers palette, you can see I can add a layer mask, which is here. And you can see it actually does nothing because when a mask is all white like this, it reveals everything, right? So everything is actually um, revealed or, or showing. So if I take a brush now, um, let's just take a regular brush. And I use black on the mask. Right, you can tell I'm on the mask because you see these little uh, corners that are around it. It means I'm actively on the mask. If I click on here, that means I'm actively on the layer. Right, so let's click back to being on the mask. And as I basically paint, you may be saying, wait a minute, you're painting with black. Why is orange appearing? Because watch as I finish a stroke, on the mask you can see there's a black line. Right? This is what I've basically done on the mask. Right? And through that mask, I'm actually seeing the, the orange. So if we take this orange layer off, you can see that I've basically erased in here. You may be saying, all right, well, so what? I could use the eraser tool and do that. What's the big deal with masking? Because here's the big deal. I'm going to switch to white, which goes back to revealing, and I'm going to bring back my photo. I switch back to X, which is the, or I switch back to black, which is the X key, by the way, switches foreground, background. And I can continue to erase. I switch back to white, and I bring back that image. So let's see how that can really be used. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and fill this with white again. Fill this completely with white. Move this picture over a little bit. I'm going to fill this. I'm going to switch to black. Make sure I'm on my mask. I'm going to make this brush bigger. Right? And you see how I could fade this picture into this orange. Because I'm using the mask to do that. Let's say I save this, close it, open it back up, and I realize, you know what? Um, I don't want to take away that much. Let's switch to white, and you can see I bring that image back. Okay, so I think that's pretty neat. Um, I'm actually going to take a little bit more of this image away because I want to show you something. I am now going to put a layer between the orange and and the picture. I'm actually going to use a oh, let's sample one of these colors. I'm going to completely fill this with this color. I'm going to put a mask on this color. Actually, I want to do it the other way. I want to do it on the bottom here. So now what are we getting? I'm getting this image, right? It's sitting on top. Let's turn all this off. This image is sitting on top, and you can see that there is, it's faded. This image is underneath it, which is also faded. And this image is sitting at the most bottom of it with no mask on it. And so um, you get these different levels, which is really nice, which is really, um, uh, it allows me to do lots of things um, within Photoshop. Um, so the idea of erasing, um, you should do no longer, right? Because masking is really kind of where it takes off. So let's just take a look at what these masks are. So I can... Right, so this goes between the layer and the mask, which we talked about. This link here, I'll show you what this link does. Let's turn these off for a second. 
as I, if I unlink these, my photo moves within the mask. Or if I click on the mask, the mask moves within the photo, right? So it, it actually separates the two as I have the link that allows me to maneuver it around. A uh, couple other things with masks. If you're like, oh, I like that mask, but what would it look without it? If I hold the shift key down and click on the mask itself, you can see that red X appears and my mask and that part of the image goes away. Um, it's basically just disabling the mask. You hold shift click again to get rid of it. The last one is if you hold down option and click on the mask, you actually see what the mask looks like. Right? So that's what this mask is looking like. Right? <clears throat> so that's the basic overview of, of masking. We'll do a lot more exercises that utilize this idea.